Example 153. Suppose a completely randomized design experiment has six treatments. How many pairwise comparisons are there? All right, so to do this problem, we want to first start out and think about the idea of a pairwise comparison. A pairwise comparison means you're going to take two of them at a time and compare them. So what we're thinking about is out of the six treatments, how many different ways can we choose two of them to pair together? So that's a combinations problem, essentially. So basically, the formula is going to be six choose two, and that would be something you would have learned in stats one, but you may say, well, geez, I, I don't remember that combinations formula. Well, don't worry, we can reduce this to something simpler in a moment here, and I'll give you a more generic formula. But if you're working out combinations, what you would do is simply say, this first number, factorial, over the second number, factorial, and then the difference between the two, factorial. What's going to happen when you work this specific case out is it's going to be 6 times 5 times 4 factorial, because that's what, you know, that would continue on if you did 4 factorial, it would be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. If you kept going, you would get that. But we're going to stop at 4 factorial because we see that it matches something down at the bottom. The 2 factorial, we're just going to do 2 times 1 times this 4 factorial. We stop there because these will cancel each other out. And then what we end up having is just, you know, the bottom here, which is 2, and then we have the top, which is 6 times 5, or 30. So the final answer, of course, is going to be 15. So that is ultimately the solution to the problem, 30 divided by 2, which is 15. But if you look at what happened there generically, what we saw was that it was basically this number times 1 less than it divided by 2, this number. So what we can do in general is just say this. Let's change this into a formula, and we're going to say that you can do this problem by just using the following results. If you take k to be the number of treatments that you have, the number of treatments, then you can say the number of pairwise comparisons, number of pairwise, right, that means two at a time, pairwise comparisons, that will end up working out to be the following fraction. It'll be k times k minus 1 all over 2. That's exactly what we saw here, right? We saw the k, which was 6 treatments, times 1 less than that, or 5, divided by the number 2, basically. So that's what you could do. You could have just said, oh, 6 times 1 minus 6, which is 5, divided by 2, and you would have got the exact same answer, 15, done in a different way. All right, so that's what we're going to do from now on. Just remember this formula. Remember, it is the same of combinations. If you remember combinations, you can just use that. But otherwise, you just use this formula and just say, hey, the number of treatments times one less than that divided by two. And that gives you the number of total comparisons that can be made.